Oh, yeah, I was probably hung over. <laughs> Hey young guys, I'm Marty Fox, judge on the block, and we're gonna go down memory lane through some of my photos of my Instagram way back to 2012. My first attempt at Movember. Back in probably 2012, isn't it? Wow, so that is me at Christchurch Grammar, and it's because of that photo, it's quite nostalgic when you put your kids back into the school that you went to, and that image is burnt in my mind. And then seeing that next to my sons is, is very, very cool. That was when I started becoming a better auctioneer. And I remember that, that was for a very good friend of mine. I don't think anyone in real estate actually planned to be in real estate. But that was an interesting auction. It was one bid and it sold. Bid went up, went on the market, no other bid came through. Bang, sold literally, start to finish, three minute auction. Yeah, so, the signboards behind White Fox have been very, very engaging for the market. We tend to put up these great sold boards that have text on them that's relevant to the story behind the sale or something within a current affairs. It's been a thing that we really brought to the marketing space within the real estate industry and it's something that we're sort of a bit famous for. Yeah, wedding day, coming up to our 10 year wedding anniversary soon, which is crazy. Charlotte and I, we've been together for just as long as we haven't been together. So I was sitting at a pub in St Kilda and my mate at the time said, you've got to meet this girl, Charlotte. And I said, well mate, text her and get her over here. And we met, she just, yeah, she didn't really like me too much. She thought I was a, a little bit obnoxious at the time. She got there and I was probably a little bit too drunk. I just kept following her up and I convinced her to come have a, a hamburger with me at Greasy Joe's. And since that hamburger, it, it's, it's been on the best, holding your firstborn two days after he's born in the kitchen, having a glass of wine, just having the reality sink in that you know, you're responsible for this other being that you know, can't do anything for themselves is a very surreal feeling and something that I'm very lucky to have experienced and building a family and building a business and doing it hand in hand with someone that you like hanging out with such a Charlotte, it's very cool. Oh my God. Yeah, little Olive. Olive is so unique. So Olive and I have this very special connection where we talk to each other without even having to say anything. And she's my little unicorn. <laughs> that was cool. I, I took about 10 suits out of the cupboard and threw it up on Instagram and said, let me know who wants to come and get these suits. If you're starting a new career and you can't afford them, if you're you know, struggling and I had heaps and heaps of messages come through and I gave them to a, a guy who met me in the back laneway at the garage door and, I handed them over and he, he started his career in real estate. It was, uh, it was a nice moment. It'll last. We're all silent, no bids up the back, nothing inside, going, and we are sold. I just remember I was absolutely shitting my pants because we we're in the middle of COVID and it was so intense having the lights and the cameras, but no energy from a crowd of people. And as an auctioneer, you want energy from the crowd. And there wasn't much because there was four people standing on stickers and working for Harry and Tash was amazing because they were the best clients and they were just such beautiful people. The Four Musketeers. I'm so lucky to have been given an opportunity to join people that I've watched for so many years and, and have really looked up to. It's an amazing opportunity and I think it's something really nice to complement the skill sets of the existing judges. Talking about what the buyer is really thinking and after 15 years of meeting thousands, thousands of buyers, I know what they want and it's nice to allocate that on the show. I look for what is going to bring the most amount of money. I can't wait to watch the auctions, but what they should do in future seasons is have a challenge where a contestant can win me as their auctioneer. Now that would be a big prize.